Hello, beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I trust God that everyone is doing great. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God bless you. I'm so, 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 so grateful. And if you're new here, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Please endeavor to subscribe to support a sister, okay? Turn on the bell for more notifications. And if you want to support me financially to keep this channel running, there's a button there that says thanks. Please click on the button and it will direct you on how to give your token, okay, to support what we are doing here and God Almighty will reward you. Thank you so much. In today's video, I want to bring you a message that Pastor Isaac Oyedeko preached. Wow. That message is boom. But trust me, it's a very long message, like an hour and above. Okay? I'm not going to play all. I just give you a clip to, so that you can see the man is loaded. I'm serious. I really thank God for Bishop Oyedeko and the mommy faith. Oyedeko. I tell you, they did a good job. It's not an easy work. And in this generation, you have children. You raise them up, and in your own korokoro, they are up and doing. Everything you taught them, they followed. And they are also raising their own children. That is a blessing. Yeah, I thank God for their lives. Please, this is the video, like the last video we made. We talked about how he handed over the church in Maryland to Pastor David Oladosu. So, and he's back in Nigeria. Right now, as I'm talking to you, he is in Nigeria with his family. Please watch this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. And also support us in any way you can. And God will bless you. Thank you so much my people. And I will see you in my next one. Remain blessed. Let's go ahead and lift our hands and appreciate the King of Kings. Father, thank you, and we give you praise and glory. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. As you take your seat, please be seated. Praise the Lord, I am more than a conqueror. I count this a great privilege to be here with us this morning, and I thank my father. Bishop David Oedekbo for this high honor to be asked to step and stand upon this altar of fire. Thank you, Lord. Our prophetic focus for the month of September is showers of blessing. Will you scream it out with me? Showers of blessing. We'll begin looking at this series of teachings and all our Sunday services, all through the month of September, captioned praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Very quickly this morning, it's important to lay a very quick foundation by helping us understand that in the kingdom of God, the agenda of God is unveiled through the word of God. In the kingdom of God, the agenda of God is unveiled through the word of God. Those who are current with the word are current with his agenda. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 11. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, because it is sealed. Verse 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. No wonder the word of God says, I commend you to God. And to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance. In the kingdom of God, the agenda of God 
is unveiled through the word of God. God's prophetic agenda for the redeemed is as contained in the scriptures. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19 to 21, it is called a more sure word of prophecy. That is heaven's guarantees on the word that all the witches may gather, all the enemies may gather. If God said it concerning you and me, it must come to pass. Wherever you are seated, everything that you discover from the word this month, no matter how many gather against it, it shall come to pass in your life. So we can go ahead to say the word of God is a prophetic bank where we make destiny redrawals. The word of God is a prophetic bank where the redeemed makes destiny redrawals. And we do this oftentimes by revelation. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, he said, I have not seen, he has not heard, it's never entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. So the word of God connotes prophetic words from the mouth of God himself. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Failure-proof words. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want a mate. For my mouth it hath commanded it, and his spirit it hath gathered it. Every prophetic word communicates the will of God. And the will of God must be willed in into the life of the redeemed. I like to say that again. Every prophetic word communicates the will of God, but the will of God requires wills to come into the life of man. And we find that all through scriptures that praise, among others, is that will that the will of God rides on. For instance, Abraham got a prophetic word from God that will be a father of many nations. Romans 4, 17 to 21. Against hope, believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken as is written. I've made it the father of many nations. Before him whom believed, even God which quickened the dead and called those things, he called it. Every prophetic word is a call that needs a will. He called those things that be not as though they were. And you know what happened? Abraham was strong in faith. He put the will of God on a wheel. And the will of God took a wheel and arrived at his destination. As he gave praises to God, the will of God, W-I-L-L, -L, took wheels, W-H-E-E-L, and arrived at his destination. I'm speaking to somebody here. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everything God shows to you, shows to me this month. By our praise, that will, we take wheels and arrive at our destination. <laughs> Let me hear the loudest amen. <laughs> Example number two we can take from Jesus. He said, the time is coming when the dead shall hear the Son, the voice of the Son of Man, and they that hear shall live. And so what did Jesus do? I think that was John 5, 25. By John eleven forty 40 to 44, Jesus said, Father, I thank you for you have heard me. I thank you for you have heard me. And then he said, Lazarus, come forth. So God, through Jesus, rather saying Jesus, put that will of God and put it on wheels. And it arrived at his destination. And dead Lazarus, stinking in the grave for four days, came back to life. Because once the will of God finds a will to ride on, no devil can stop it from being fulfilled. I don't know what may be dead or dying in your life. As you and I offer praises to God and put that will, W-I-L-L, -L, on wheels, W-H-E-E-L, it shall arrive at its destination. Let me hear the loudest amen. I remember many years ago, I heard Bishop Oedipo say, 
I am not surprised that we are where we are. I will have been surprised if we are not here. And I began to think, what kind of thing is this? But now I know that that talks about his expectation. God said it, I expected it, so I'm not surprised about it. There are many things God has said to you and I that we do not expect. So when they happen, we become surprised. Ah, Lord, I didn't know, but he told you before. I will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. I will give you a name and a fame everywhere you have been put to shame. I will make you a voice in your generation. And then suddenly, he makes that happen for you, and you bow down your head and you say, I'm shocked. Expect it. There's a song we used to sing in, in Maryland. I am expecting great things. We, we, we oftentimes will sing that during praise and worship before even the word happens. That is, we're expecting miracles before miracles happen. We're expecting signs before signs happen. We're expecting testimonies before testimonies happen. We're expecting revelation before revelation happens. Your expectation is key to open confirmation. We put the demands of the prophetic word to work. Every time God speaks, it must not just end in dancing and celebration. We must look for the conditions. What is God saying? For instance, God tells you, I'm going to make you so blessed that everyone around you will envy you and you end up with dancing alone. Well, you may never see it because there is a condition for that declaration. Until you are a seed sower, you will end up a pauper. Imagine pouring water on a ground where there is no seed. It has nothing to produce. In fact, those who have seed in the ground, when rain falls, they are excited. Those who lack seed in the ground, when rain falls, they are confronted. They are wondering, why this rain? You know why? There is no seed in the ground. So put the demands of the prophetic word to work. James chapter 2 verse 17. Everything God says, everything God speaks, there are conditions to match. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. How many will wheel in the will of God by praise this month? Shout with me, I will praise him. Loudest, I will praise him. The loudest you can, I will praise him.